with Dave Harris. Retro Rewind. Retro Rewind. One on one. On one. Retro Rewind. You know, Akon, for instance, another another friend of, friend of, of Red One, uh, uh, he heard, put it on my tab. A song that Donnie and 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 uh, Nazri and, and Red One wrote. Um, Loved it. Said I want to be on it. It wasn't, you know, he didn't push it, and and he just got on there and 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 took it to another level, and um. And then, Teddy Riley. We worked with Teddy Riley, and 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 back in the day, and it was it's great to see him doing his thing again and kind of get back in the scene, and and not that he ever really left, but it, it it's just great to, you know, be able to do a song with them and. And Pussycat Dolls are on Interscope, and we were spending a lot of time around Interscope, and they have a rehearsal studio across the street from the record company, and that's where we were rehearsing. So people were coming by every day, you know. It was just a, a, a natural hang, and, and it was fun to do that song. And then um, the last, you know, the last thing was, one of the last songs we did was Single with Neo. And... Um, it's a cool video too, by the way. Yeah, I think it's a great video. Uh, Benny Boom is the director, and he's a class act guy. He's a gentleman. I think he did an amazing job, and I I, I loved it. I loved that video. I thought it was, I thought it was beautiful, and as beautiful as the girl is in that video, she's she's a very yeah. sweet girl, and 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 it was just it was a great look. So. Um, we love single. We heard. It. I mean, it goes way back. I mean, actually, we we went to the we went to the Lakers Celtics championship game and at at you know and at the Staples Center with Polo to Don, me Donnie and and, and Polo, uh, the producer of the record and co-writer of, of of single, and we were just hanging out. He's a Lakers fan. And we were going to the. It was like game three or four and. Uh, in the background, um, on the song, he he had it on repeat. He had the song on, and it was on, it was it was it was low, so he was just like feeling it really. And Donnie had mentioned something. Oh, is that a song? He's like, yeah, yeah, that's the that's the song I'm doing with with Neo. And uh, I thought he said Nelly at the time, <laughs> and I was like, hmm, that didn't uh, Nelly. I'm thinking, well, that didn't sound like him. So maybe maybe he produced it or something with him, whatever. So. I didn't know he said Neo, and then uh, that was that was in June. I don't know about a month, a month later, or a month or two later, that song comes up again because we had done another song. We did Lights, Camera, Action with with Polo, which is much more kind of fun, crazy song. <laughs> and uh, but he had this other song, and we were kind of vibing on it. And I remember I was it was late at night and. Uh, you know, you just you just go and go and go and you gotta give like everything you have to like finish this album and uh, late nights and we're rehearsing trying to put the tour together and all all different kinds of stuff and I got to see I went to the studio to work on it on this other song and no one was there and they gave me a CD of single so I put it in my car and I drove back home oh I drove to another studio because that's where New Edition was doing some stuff. And I'm driving, you know, through L.A., um, and I'm listening to single, and I just keep repeating it. And it's, and it's Neo singing single. And um, I don't know why it didn't catch me the first time in the car. I guess it was low or whatever, but uh, driving to that game. But I, I now I was just feeling it, you know what I mean? And I'm singing along with it, and I'm like, wait a minute. I, I, I'm feeling the song. I think I could make a dent in this song, you know? Yeah. So I'm feeling it, and then the next day... I show up and like what I was talking to you about about like you know working out the vocals and who's gonna sing what. I was like, I sort of came in with a head of steam. I'm like, yo, <laughs> I'm I'm taking a crack at this, fellas. Like I'm I'm going for this and um, it worked out. Again, it was it was a perfect combination of me, Jordan, and Donnie. Uh, you know, of you know I hit the the verse and 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 then Donnie hit the 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 sort of you know the pre-chorus. And uh, he's never sounded better as far as I'm concerned. And, and so everybody was inspired. I, I felt like, honestly, I came in and I was like, yo, 
I'm 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 gonna take a swing at this. Let's go. And I, I think I got the the bat on the ball. And then and then that that made Donnie raise his game. And then Jordan stepped in and did his thing. You know, on the chorus. So, um, you know, and this and we sang the whole song. We sang the whole song. And then we sort of like well, we're like okay, yeah. Well, no. Now now we gotta now we gotta you know. <laughs> now we're gonna call Neo and say, uh, what about the song? And we really it was it was sort of a weird situation, I think. You know, at the end of the day, you know, we obviously love the song and you know, Neo is a gentleman and one of the most sought after songwriters, you know, in the business. And uh it it probably wasn't uh the conventional way to to um ask somebody if you can do the song. Right. But considering that Polo was excited about it, the guy he did it with, and Jimmy Iovine is like, come on, you got to do it. And, you know, Jimmy Iovine had to call his record company. And and there was a lot going on. But I, I, I you know, I think and, and I hope that the, the experience was, was good for him. It was good for us. And, um, you know, in some ways, it's it's his baby. You know what I mean? It's it's you know that song is still on his album. Uh, the duet is on our album. Um, but you know, in in a in a in a healthy competitive way, I uh, I I I wish I could sing the whole song. You know what I mean? <laughs> I wish I could take the whole verse. You know what I mean? Like I do in the in the show. You know, because we perform it live. But um, but Neo uh, is is. Uh, like I said, he's he's a class act, and he's a really good guy, and, and a and a really top shelf performer. So to share the stage with him, and to do that was really cool. And we have a lot of fun and a lot of laughs, and and you know that's the way it ought to be. You know what I mean? It you I think, I think it's a healthy competitiveness. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, not that on my on my behalf on you know i mean that's that's my opinion i'm uh, he doesn't he doesn't have to compete because you know he wrote the song and you know he he sings the hell out of it so but but it's just nice to you know be in the game you know what i mean and and do what you do and want to want to hit a home run and so um that was one of those unique things that that happened along the way and uh you know it was i think it was a great song for us and a great video and uh we loved it so much we we started our show with it you know what i mean our live tour you know our first tour in 15 years we said this is how we want to start it so it's a real credit to 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 neo and and, and polo to don and 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 to us to to go for it and and this this tour uh joe let's talk a little bit about it uh, um you know it's it's done quite well um you know my sister's 35 years old and she's got a kid now and she's like you know i, I need to see this show it's it's you know and it's not all for nostalgia uh, purposes it's just that it's the music's good and it's you know it's not you know i think a lot of people have been waiting for this um so tell us a little bit about the tour um some of the songs that maybe you you guys chose to do now, I know you just wrapped up your uh, North American side of things. Yeah. You're getting ready to go over to Europe. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about the tour and what your plans are after Europe. Um, well, the tour is amazing. I mean, you know, we started in Toronto, and that first night was... Uh, uh, you know, it's levitation comes to mind. You know, you just, you're just floating, you know what I mean? It's... Uh, and the crowd's still there. I mean, oh. there they are, bro. It's oh yeah, man. They're they're everywhere we go. It's amazing. You know what I mean? It's like they're they're there. And you know, to start it off in Toronto, you know, three shows. It was crazy. It was crazy. And 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 uh, you know, it was it was it was an amazing. Uh, you know, it was an amazing amazing time and just to to kick it off and it, it was it was great and it still is great it still is amazing Retro Rewind with Dave Harris Retro Rewind Retro Rewind one on one on one Retro Rewind